News for you this time in East Hartford. A student is in trouble there after police found an air pellet gun in his backpack near the middle school this morning. There was no lockdown at the middle school, and officers say no threats were made. They've not said what school the student attends. And of course, we continue our coverage of the mayhem that unfolded at Middlesex Hospital in Middletown yesterday. A 27-year-old man intentionally crashed his car into the ER doors and then lit himself on fire. The emergency department has been closed ever since. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter David McKay joins us live there and has been following this story since the beginning to bring us the latest. David. Yeah, the ED remains closed. There's no ambulances going in or out. We'll give you a look right now. They've cleaned it up, sealed it up pretty good and tight. They've cleaned it up good this morning. Appointments for radiology tests, lab tests, and non-emergency surgeries have also been canceled at the hospital today. It happened around 10 o'clock yesterday morning. Police said 27-year-old Stephen Ellum intentionally crashed his car into the ER entrance and then lit himself on fire. Ellum live-streamed the events on his Facebook, and the social media giant has been working to take any shared videos down due to their disturbing nature. Eyewitness News viewer video showed us some of the first images in the aftermath, and Drone 3 was the first in the sky to give you a bird's eye look. Ellum was taken by LifeStar to Bridgeport Burn Unit, where he was last listed in critical condition. A security guard at the hospital was treated for smoke inhalation, but thankfully there were no other injuries. This is a coordinated team effort, and the people of Middletown should take comfort in knowing that uh, this was an isolated incident. We're all confident that it was an isolated incident, and the community is safe. FBI, ATF, state and local police descended on Ellum's home on Millardo Lane soon after the crash and said he has a lengthy criminal history in, connecting in Connecticut dating back to 2008 with charges including driving under the influence and assault. But so far, no motive has been brought forth. Ellum's former employers at Iliano's restaurant, where he was a dishwasher, said he quit suddenly the day before the crash. I spoke with a spokeswoman for the hospital this morning, Amanda Falcone, who said the Department of Public Health offered some mobile units as an option for the hospital, but they are not currently using them. Visitors are welcome for patients, but there are still restrictions due to the flu. Basically, don't come if you're sick. And they do have a heightened security, as do other hospitals in the area. Now, I'll be sticking out here all day to give you any updates on air and on our Channel 3 app. Live in Middletown, David McKay, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.